Good evening, Trans Canada Vloggers. It is Tuesday. I am Melody from Saskatchewan, and welcome to my shower. Alright, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a double Windsor knot for a tie. First things first, you need a collared shirt. Magic! Alright, so next you want to actually get yourself a tie. Um, the reason why you want a collared shirt is because that way your tie rests better and it looks better. So first, what you want to do is start with your short end, the bottom end, on the left, and your actual tie on the right. Okay? So, and then you do up your first button. Make sure it's all nice like that. Now you actually get to the tying part. You want to cross them over with your front tie side on the front, obviously, and your bottom tail on the bottom. Now you take your front, bring it on over in the back, like this, make it nice and straight, and then bring it up and in, right like that, okay? So you want to slide it right in, and then right after, you pull it over, turn it to the side, and bring it up and in, making a nice triangle shape as you can see right here. Next you bring it over here, parallel and straight like you did before, and bring it over top of your triangle. You can adjust the triangle however you want. I fix the tail there. And then you bring it back behind and up right through here and then in a little opening right in there you want to slide it right through until it gets to the bottom and you gently pull it through making sure that there's no wrinkles in there and keeping your nice triangle shape fixing here and there to make sure that it looks good. From there you pull on your tail and lift it up until it looks good. I have no idea if that looks good because you normally it's best to do it in front of a mirror. So I'm going to check this and then it'll be fixed up to look proper. Oh hot damn! I got it right perfectly. Okay, so after that what you want to do with the little tag right in there, you want to fit your tail right through there just to make sure that it's not dangling out. Um, one of the things that you want to remember is that you want your triangle to be in a nice shape. As you can see, underneath my collar, it is a nice shape and even. There's no major crinkles right in here. I can tighten it just a little bit like that. And my tail is not longer than my main tie. Alright, so that is how you tie a tie.